What's going on lads and welcome to another video. It's been a while. It's been what a month or something like that since I've uploaded. I did put a community post out the other day saying I just think the game there's not much content at the minute, so I don't want to keep just forcing content on you guys, so I took a little break, but I do want to slowly introduce videos back into it now. Team of the season is actually coming out very, very soon. So on screen right now is my Road to Glory team. It's a lot different to when you last saw it. It is so sick now, guys. You'll see the starting 11, the players on the bench. I did Pedowski yesterday. It's it's sick. It's very, very sick, guys, at the minute. Um, I have actually got the foot birthday Mounier, who I got yesterday from the foot swaps, but I can't put him in yet until I afford a new right back, which I'll try and get Lala at some point. Maybe Tete. Tete might work. Oh, that's typical FIFA, isn't it? Yeah, so after that little intermission, we're back. You know what EA is like. Server's dead. Exactly what happened now. It's going to be a formation video, tactics video. Um, I'm going to show you my ultra defensive to my ultra attacking. Um, they're good. They're, they're really, really good for this team. They work really well. This is obviously isn't the formation I'm going to be using. This is just for chemistry reasons to get most players on 10 chemistry. There's a few odd things that I do in game. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll show you now. I'll show you like how I go into a game and then the formation I use further on in the game and the format. You know, you know what I mean? That that kind of situation basically. What I do is start with a four-two-three-one. I used to always play the four-one-two-one-two -one -two throughout every single game, but now I drop into the four-two-three-one. Now I've got like, a better team. Um, the four-two-three-one is obviously the formation that everybody uses along with the four-one-two-one-two. -one -two. It seems to be one of those two that everybody uses. I will start with this because it is the most balanced. Good at attacking, good at defending, so you kind of work out how you, how the opposition's playing. If it's working, stay. If it isn't, change up. Basically, it's hard to break down, so you won't concede many goals. This is my attacking formation that I've called it. Not necessarily really attacking, but this is the slot that I team, basically. This, this defensive style keeps everybody in place. Not like um, press after possession loss or, or constant pressure. People won't be pulled out of position, which is why the 4 2 3 one is so good to drop back because it just keeps everybody the back, the bank of four, the two, the three, and the one. It keeps everybody together basically and it stops everybody running out of position all the time. And obviously, you want as many defenders back as you can when defending, stop you conceding goals. Width for habit on five, depth for habit on four. You'll see people use one depth, two depth, three depth. I'll keep it on four. I don't like to play that insanely defensive gameplay I can't, I, it's so boring to play and when you play against someone you just know they're going to score and counter it's just so annoying but I can't play I have to play for at least four sometimes it's five and six depending on your defenders and the pace of your defenders and the ability of your defenders this is where it changes the defenders I'll use they're quite technical they're quite fast and they're decent yeah so I will go four if you've got really fast like if you've got like team of the years or whatever you could go higher so we'll be able to catch up with the attackers anyway. But the defenders I've got, my centre backs will be Marquinhos and Thiago Silva. So four works for them very, very well. I also got fast build up as well. I like to attack. You guys know I love to attack. Four one two one two is a very attacking formation. I've used it throughout the whole game, and that's what I used in that. So I took it to this, and it works really well as well. Very, very good in the four two three one. I could never get to grips with it before, but now I feel like I've mastered it, and it works very, very well. Width, I have it on four. Plays in the box, five corners, three, three kicks, two. These don't really matter too much. Plays in the box more than these two. You just want enough players in the box to be able to cross the ball, basically. You don't want it too high that everyone bombards and you get counted. You want it too low that nobody's there when you cross it. I think four and five, kind of where you want to be at with players in the box. Show you that is my that is my team in-game. Obviously, Addison in goal. I'll move Militao from centre-back to right-back. Really good in the air, fast, good stamina, good strength, perfect right back. He's insane at right back and he gets full chemistry starting in a five at the back formation. In for Marquinhos and Thiago Silva at centre backs. Both really good at jumping, both really good at defending, interceptions, etc. Decent pace as well. They're not neither of them are the strongest, but they work really well together, guys. They are Thiago Silva and Marquinhos are two of my favourite centre halves in the game. Alex Tellez as well, he's in there for chemistry. He doesn't have to be now. I've got an, uh, I've had Tellers throughout my whole RTG since January, so I've stayed with him. He will be upgraded when I get the coins. I will try and get the Champions League one when 
Port will actually go out of the tournament. He will drop down a lot. So that should be soon because they play Liverpool tomorrow, which will be the last leg. So he can't go up anymore after that. So Tellers, hoping about 140k. That would be a really good price for Alex Tellers. Uh, defensive midfielders, Rabio, who's really good. Don't let his high medium put you off. It works really, really well. Decent stamina, good strength. He's good on a ball. He's a really good CDM, guys. Give him a try if you haven't. That is UCL Rabio, by the way. Um, Thomas Munio moving from right back to sent, uh, defensive mid, where I will be using his for birthday card. But to get him on full chemistry there at the minute, I have to start a five at the back formation, which works for me because I can get everybody else on good chemistry. But Munier there, got a shadow on him, perfect CDM. He's very, very good at CDM. He's probably one of the best CDMs I've used, so I can't wait to use his foot birthday. I haven't actually used him yet. And my three attacking midfielders, Limbombe on the left, Pepe on the right, Neymar through the middle. I've got Limbombe, who's five-star weak foot on the outside. People don't know how to play against Limbombe. It's really hard to, like, they don't know if he's left or right footed, but obviously he's neither because he's got five-star weak foot, so he's both. So six-it card Limbombe is Neymar. Five star again through the middle. Obviously, you want players to be five star as much as you can. They're just sick. Five star, five star for Neymar. Unbelievable card. Nicholas Pepper on the right, who's really, really good. He should get any form as well. He got two. Got he got one goal and two assists against PSG, and they beat them five one. So hopefully that's enough to get Pepe any form. And he should because this is the headliner. He will go to an eighty nine. His price has already risen, so people are anticipating that. So hopefully he does. And he'll be obviously even better for me. Got Eusebio at the minute. I normally play Rafael Leal there, but I thought I may as well. I had some spare players, so I just chucked him into Eusebio. So that doesn't really make much of a strike. He's not mine, so he's not going to be staying there. But the instructions for this one, we've got Militao, stay back while attacking an overlap. Nothing on the centre-halves. Stay back while attacking an overlap on my other full-back. Stay back while attacking and cover centre on both my CDMs, that is it. My attacking midfielders, get in the box for crosses. Get in the box for cross on the outside, nothing else. Stay forward on the cam, and the striker stay central, getting behind and stay forward. You want your striker to be up there at all times. You want your cam to be there at all times. And these two will like float about, and then get into the box when you need to with the instruction. So that is the four-two-three-one. That's what I play most of the game. If I'm needing a win, needing to just charge at the opponent, I go four-one-two-one-two. The narrow press after possession loss to get into your opponent's face, get into him. Stop him playing. Just press after possession loss is key. You can't play all game. Your players will be knackered. They'll be putting the fitness card after the end of every game. So I try and probably charge this about 60, 70 minutes if I have to. Whip for five. Depth for four. Fast build up once again. Whip for five. Plays in the box four. Because if you have it on more, your centre mids will kind of both centre mids will be on that, and then you've got you've got too many players basically going forward. Corners at three. Three kicks at two again. This is what it actually looks like. We've got Limbombe at left centre mid, Mounier holding midfield, Rabiot at centre mid, Pepe at Cam, Neymar, Eusebio up front. Stay central, getting behind, stay forward on both my strikers and my Cam. Stay forward, that is it. Centre mids, stay back while attacking, cover centre. Balanced attack, they should really swap Rabiot and Limbombe. I did have them like opposite in my five formation, so that's why they're different. But Limbombe should be there. And Rabio should be on the left. The right centre mid is my more attacking one. I normally play a wing there. You've seen you've saw me play Mares in the past. I now play Limbombe. Basically, he just needs good stamina. Um, he needs to be able to get forward. So Limbombe, Mares, players like that work very, very well. Basically, just have him on cover centre because you do want him to be like a kind of box to box midfielder. It doesn't matter about work rates. They will get forward and go back whenever anyway in that position. Same on my defence on every single formation. Stay back while attacking an overlap on both my full backs. Nothing on my centre halves. Four four two is a new one that I use. I use this formation when like the opponents kind of outplay me or they have better players because the four four two it shuts down the midfield because obviously you've got a bank of four and a four instead of like split lines of four. And you have the four two three one. You've got like split lines between them all. In the four four two, you've obviously got a bank of four and a bank of four. Which works really well when you're trying to com compress a component into the midfield. So if you haven't tried 4 2 it's actually surprisingly good. It work re would work really well if you've got like Bale and Mbappe, players like that. So a lot of you have at this point, so this will work for you. Pressure on heavy touch once again. Um, width, 5, depth, 3, because you have 
the two holding midfielders, you don't want them to be too far up. You want to keep a nice, like I said, two banks of four, basically. You want them to keep a nice structure to the team. You don't want them to be just running all over the place. Long ball. Long ball doesn't actually say what it does. It You will see in the graphic, your strikers just make runs and they will go over the top, which defenders can't really read. So if you've got really fast strikers, it works very, very well. I actually used, took this formation from Jazz. MV Jazz, he represented Chelsea. They're both from Birmingham. He represented Chelsea. I support Chelsea. So, kind of got a bit in common. He's a lot better than me. But, took this formation from Shout out Jazz. Go and check out his channel if you haven't. Pro player, sick, sick guy. Um, whip, five, whip. Plays in the box, three. Corners, three. Free kicks, two. That's what it would look like in game. Obviously, the wingers, Rabio, Mounier, sending mid again. Millet out, full back. Instructions, stay central, force nine on Neymar. Eusebio, stay central, get in behind and stay forward on the other striker. Limbombe, come back on defence, stay wide, get in the box for cross. The same on Pepe. Rabio, stay back while attacking, cover wing. Stay back while attacking, cover wing. That should actually be, why am I saying cover wing? It should be cover centre. That's changed back for some reason, but it should be cover centre. Edin Militao, full back. Stay back while attacking, overlap again. That's getting a bit boring. I'm just talking about the full backs the same in everyone. My ultra defensive one, I'm just trying to see out a game. And I just want to get that win. You, you're up in foot champions and you don't want to cost just to lose the game. 4 2 3 1 wide, the second variation. That is wrong again. Why is everything reset? <laughs> I don't know why everything's reset. But this is what it will look like. That's better. Tactics, drop back. You do want low depth on this one because that's your main aim. Your main aim is to defend. You're not going to be scoring goals with this formation. Don't think you will because you, you will score goals, but not like you're not going to destroy an opponent and score like five goals. It's to see a game out. Five width, two depth. Fast build up as well. Just to get you out of, if, if you're stuck in like a tight hole, like you're right back and they're closing you down, you can just get out of situations a bit better. Whip five, plays in the box four, corners three, three kicks two. Instructions, stay central, get in behind, stay forward. Nothing on the cam. Come back on defence on the wingers. Fall back, stay back while attacking an overlap, and then stay back while attacking cover centre. Always have cover centre because it's easier to defend through the middle. You don't want them just playing through the middle. You don't want your centre backs isolated against the striker, against one twos you want. You CDMs and your centre backs to just block them. So, way, way better, guys. It's absolutely sick. So that's that's the formations basically. It's a lot different to my other formations. I'm gonna show you one and then you you build around the rest. But this is what I do. This is the the best way that I play. It's been getting me so many results in like you can see my team isn't the best team compared to I play against full icon teams, team of the years all the time now. Being a road to glory, I haven't got that. So it works. I'll beat those teams, I destroy those teams. You will lose. You're not going to win 30 out of 30. You will lose, but you will win a lot more than you lose. Guaranteed. You saw my other tactics videos. They work for people. I would not put this out if it doesn't work. I won't just make up random formations. These actually work, guys. So, thank you for coming back to the channel after a month off. But I am back now. And I want to say another thing. I am getting a new capture card. A new capture card, the Razor Ripsaw. Um, so I will be giving away my Elgato HD60S to one of you guys watching. All you have to do is follow me on every single social media, Instagram, Twitter, follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on YouTube. It's all free. I'm not going to make you, I'm not making you pay for anything. All you have to do is subscribe. Let me know when you have. Send me a screenshot on Twitter um, that you've followed me on absolutely everything. And then all you have to do is tune into the first stream that I do and I'll pick a winner then. I want to give it to somebody who's going to make videos and become a content creator or if you've got an older capture card upgrade your current setup I don't want somebody to just get it and sell it I want to help somebody out so if you can prove to me you followed me on everything and I'll also help you out when you when you get it let me know when you receive it let me know I'll give you some tips I'll show you out in a video just to get you started so I'll ship it to anywhere so if you win good luck <laughs> But yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.